Okay, this is the ultra rare monk's flame blade, and it's an awesome looking curved great sword. Swing it around, set it on fire, even dual wield two of them if you've got a lot of time in your hands, like me. Here's where to find it. Okay, so I'll show you first how to get the monk's flame blade, then after that, I'll show you how to upgrade it to make it as powerful as it can possibly be. The monk's flame blade drops from one enemy and one enemy only, and this is the flame monk in Giant Conquering Heroes Grave. There are other flame monks around, but this is the only one who drops the sword, and he doesn't like to drop it easily. So put on a podcast, you're gonna be here a while. First things first, head to the Giant Conquering Heroes Grave. This is located in the mountaintop of the Giants. Now starting from the site of Grace, head left down the corridor. There'll be a flame monk here, but I would suggest running right by him as this is not the flame monk that drops the sword. He does drop the less rare flame mace though, so if you wanted to try and farm that, then feel free to give him a bash. Now head down the corridor to the right and hit the fake wall ahead of you. This opens up a really handy shortcut that's going to save a whole load of time and it means you won't have to fight anyone on your way to the weapon farm. If you go the other way, you'll have to fight a watchdog and some imps and they are annoying. So continue down here and you'll come to a smaller corridor guarded by a flame trap. Wait until the time's right, then sprint down the corridor and head right. This is the flame monk you need to farm. The one flame monk in the whole game that has this sword. He's pretty tough. Uh, this is quite late into the game. All right, now he's taken care of. I recommend using Margit's Shackle. Not to be confused with Mog's Shackle. This is Margit's Shackle. And basically, when you use this item, your character plants Margit's Shackle down on the floor and the flames instantly turn off. And this effect persists even if you die or you fast travel, which is so useful. No more flames. And now to get back to the site of Grace the Fastest, don't run or don't die and get killed and respawn there. There's a quicker way, and that is the Memory of Grace. So use the Memory of Grace item to warp right back. You will lose all your runes doing so, but it's the quickest way back because, of course, you cannot fast travel in dungeons. So yeah, keep on doing this run exactly as you see here, and eventually you will get the Monk's Flame Blade. You might develop your own little techniques and tricks here. Um, so depending on your weapon, you could, you could try a more powerful weapon than I'm using here. Or another thing you could try is staying behind the corner that the Monk is hiding behind and hitting them through the wall. Their sword clicks through the wall as well, so you will want to watch out for that. But you can use that to your advantage. Or you could cut down on the runtime by using Bloodhound Step to dash there instead of running, which is uh, a bit quicker. It's completely up to you, but let me know in the comments if you've got any handy tips to make the run easier. One thing I will say when farming any type of rare weapon or armor piece in Elden Ring is to make sure your arcane is as high as it can possibly be. This is the stat that determines how frequently enemies drop items, and the higher it is, the more chance they'll drop whatever items they're carrying. So firstly, max out your arcane stat or level it up as much as you can. Then wear the Silver Scarab Talisman. I love this, uh, love this talisman. It raises your arcane. Really handy. Uh, other things you can do to raise your arcane is wearing the Silver Tear Mask, holding Marika's Sword Seal, and consuming a rune arc. But make sure you're holding Godric's great rune while you consume that rune arc. And that'll basically activate it and raise all your stats across the board. You could also eat a silver pickled fowl's foot as well, but it takes time to farm the ingredients for this, so I can't be bothered most of the time. Anyway, here's what the run looks like in its entirety. So let's have a little sit back and watch the full run.
And here is the Monk's Flame Blade in all its glory. Um, as you can see, I've added some flame grease to make it look all nice and fiery and really live up to its name. Now, as the description goes, this is a curved sword with a flickering flame motif, and it's wielded by the fire monks who came from the mountaintop of the giants. The monks came to the land of Lyurnia in pursuit of a fugitive who stole their fire. That's the official description. Um, if that was me, I'd probably just make a new fire to be honest. Can't really believe they didn't think of that. The flame blade is the second lightest of the curved greatsword, so it's good if you have limited endurance, as it won't weigh you down. It's got a nine for weight, which is really light for the amount of damage it outputs. And it's also the lightest that's able to be customized with Ashes of War. I recommend this one. This is the double slash, which you can chain into more attacks and just keep those attacks going. And I, yeah, I find this really useful. Now, this sword might have slightly less damage than other curved great swords like uh, Bloodhound's Fang, for instance, but the fact you can customize it with an Ash of War of your choice means it's way more flexible. A fun thing to try is making a cold infusion with Hoarfrost Stomp, as the cold infusion means Hoarfrost Stomp will do more damage. Now you can run around stomping everyone with your icy feet. Or uh, you can make a magically infused blade with the Royal Knight's Resolve Ash of War, which massively powers up your next attack. Remember to have decent intelligence for stronger magic attacks here. But the best thing is dual wielding two Monk's Flame Blades and using both of these upgraded blades at the same time. In other words, power stance in them. So we have the Cold Blade and we have the Magic Blade working together in perfect harmony. It absolutely wrecked. I love it. And if you give it a go, you'll love it too. Anyway, thanks so much for watching this video. And if you've got any tips for how to make this farm even quicker, let me know in the comments. Remember to hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed the video and I'll leave you with more gameplay footage of the incredible, awesome Monk's Flame Blade in action.